Alright, so this is a very brief overview of the four market structure. Okay, so um, when we talk about features, we are always talking about these four. Number of players, product type, knowledge, and BTE. Okay, so um, in this case for monopolistic competition or MC firm, alright, you realize that um, between PC and monopoly, okay, um, number one, monopolistic competition tends to favor PC more in terms of number of players, okay, and in terms of the product type, okay, it is slightly differentiated, okay, so monopoly is unique, okay, so in this case, um, I would say it is uh, going to lean towards your PC firm, okay, your level of knowledge, okay, is imperfect knowledge, um, sorry, so it's leaning towards your monopoly, okay, and barriers to entry, okay, it is leaning towards your PC firm. So I realize out of the four features, all right, only the knowledge level is um, tilting towards the monopoly. The rest are more inclining towards the PC firm. All right, and I will go in depth. I'll go through in depth uh, in a short while. Okay, so these are the four characteristics that I need you to um, to to have in in your mind. All right, to be ingrained in your mind. Okay, so number one, we have a lot of buyers and sellers, especially sellers. So in this case, when we have a lot of sellers, there's a lot of competition. Okay, and when there's a lot of competition, all right, what happens is you have low market power. Okay, remember, whenever there is competition, okay, it, is in, it, it, will, it will inversely be affected with your, it's inversely related to your market power. The more competition, the lesser market power that you have. All right. Okay, and then the second part is differentiated product or slightly differentiated product. Okay, please please add in here slightly. Okay, meaning to say the goods that you see outside, all right, they are slightly differentiated in such a way that um there's a there's a huge degree of similarity, but they are different in one way or another. So I believe all of you are, 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 are familiar with chicken rice, okay? And I, I kind of like chicken rice a lot, okay? So I typically favor stores that actually serve good chili, okay? So although there are many um, chicken rice stores out there, all right, there are only a few stores that serve good chili, all right? So uh, in such a way, um, the chicken rice is actually differentiated in uh, in differentiated in terms of the um, the fragrance of the chicken rice, okay, the texture of the chicken, and of course the chili itself. But nonetheless, okay, the product it is still pretty much the same, still chicken rice. Okay, so um, it is slightly differentiated, good, and because because of this nature, they are slightly differentiated. Okay, that is why they still retain some of the market power. Okay, so they still retain some market power in the sense that. They will know that some 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 um um some hawker fans like me, okay, I would still like to go to a, a chicken rice store that serves good chili, okay. And some other people they don't really care about chili, okay. So for people like me, okay, they have they will they'll be able to exert some form of market power on me, okay, and um and charge a higher price on me. But to the rest of the people, they are not going to do that, okay, or they are unable to do that because um the rest of the people they don't really care about chili. Alright, so uh, they still retain some of the market power. And imperfect knowledge. Alright, in the sense that, let's use the chicken rice store for example. Okay, so in this case, um, consumers do not have perfect information on pricing of um, various chicken rice store. Alright, so they may go to a chicken rice store that is convenient. Alright, so long, so long as it's three dollars three fifty, okay, I will buy. Okay, or rather, um, the producers also does not know the know-how to produce the other the other chicken rice stores um, formula secret formula okay so in this case the the amount of knowledge is imperfect and this is the this is the most crucial criteria that you will, you will see all right low barriers to entry um, earlier in the previous lecture we have talked about um, your barriers to entry your natural barriers to entry and your um, artificial barriers to entry. So I hope you guys still remember the um, the the these two kinds of barriers to entry. Okay, um, it's not very critical in this topic, but it will be more critical in oligopoly. 
All right. So when we talk about low barriers to entry, we are talking about no uh, low setup costs. Okay, and low exit costs. So we realize between perfect competition and MC firm, all right, the cash is actually low and no. Okay. So in this case, we realize that the assumption for MC firm it is much more realistic as compared to perfect com. So there are still some form of setup cost and exit cost involved in uh in, in, in the MC firm. Alright. So in this case, all this points out to something. Okay, you have very little market power. Okay. Why? Because you are serving slightly differentiated product, many sellers. Okay, so in this case, when um when a chicken rice when the chicken rice um business is doing very well, you will attract a lot of competition, new competitors into the market. Okay, and when the chicken rice business is not doing very well, okay, people will exit the the chicken rice business with relative ease. Okay, and all this points out to you have very little market power. Okay, when we talk about market power, we simply talk about okay, you are not able to ex you are not able to um charge a high price for that. All right. So um hawker center it is one of the um most classical examples. So whenever you're in a hawker center, typically you will you will see three to four repetitive stores. Okay, um especially noodles, chicken rice, um hokkien mee, okay. Uh, I mean speaking of which it makes me hungry already. Okay, but let's not go in, let's not go into that. Okay, and also um stores that serve drinks. Okay. Even um drinks they are the most um they are the most um, similar kind of product. Okay, Kopi in this store it tastes the same as Kopi, almost the same as Kopi in the other store. They probably got it from the same supplier. All right. And tuition classes. Okay. Um. Maybe if I have time, I will share it in the um in the in the in the last few slides or in the tutorial. Okay. Why are tuition classes deemed to be a monopolistic competition? Okay. Or they they are in in the monop the MC firm. Uh, MC category, all right. So a lot of people say that, hey, Mister Teo, uh, you are doing very well, right? Um, tuition earn a lot of money, right? So I will share with you. I will I will demystify this myth with you, debunk this myth with you. Okay, that uh, tuition providers they are not necessarily um, earning super normal profit. Okay, 